Rejuvenation is the renewal of a river's energy in response to a relative fall in base level. This may be due to a fall in sea level or the raising of the land. The base level is the lowest point to which the river can flow and is usually sea level. There may however be a local base level at some point along the profile when a river meets a lake or a reservoir. There are two main causes of rejuvenation. The first of these is dynamic change. This is when an upwards movement of the land raises the height of the river above sea level. This changes the long profile. For example, there is now a nick point in the lower course. This increases the gravitational potential of the river, giving it more energy to erode downwards towards the new base level. The land rises for two reasons. Orogenesis is the building of mountains. The uplift can steepen the river gradient which increases energy for erosion. Isostatic rebound occurs due to the weight of the ice in the last ice age. This caused the crust to become depressed onto the mantle. The melting of the ice removed this weight which caused the crust to uplift to where it was previously. The second main cause of rejuvenation is eustatic change. This is a change of sea level. It can either be a rise or a fall. In warmer periods there is less ice held in valley glaciers and at the poles and the water is warmer so it expands and sea levels rise. An example of a feature created by this is fjords in Norway which are created when a U-shaped valley is flooded. In colder periods the ocean water is colder and contracts. In addition it, uh, it is also held in storage as glacial ice. This causes a fall in the sea level. As the sea level drops the river cuts into the existing floodplain. This creates a new lower floodplain. The old floodplain is now a river terrace. The river continues to erode and assume its previous long profile. Another feature created by eustatic change is a raised beach. This was at one time located at sea level. It shows features such as a deltaic deposit. The fall in sea level has left them hanging above the current base level. If a rejuvenated river is in a valley with well developed meanders, renewed downcutting results in them becoming deepened. These are called incised meanders. If this deepening occurs quickly, the valley may become symmetrical with steep sides and a gorge like appearance. This is known as an entrenched meander. The final cause of rejuvenation is static change. This may be due to an increase in discharge, which can occur due to climate change. An increase in precipitation would bring more flow to the river and therefore more energy, resulting in greater erosion. Similarly, a decrease in load allows more energy to be used for erosion. The final diagram shows some of the features of rejuvenation.